Greetings everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is very, gonna be very fun because I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I went around and found a bunch of random parts. So I'm gonna build a Frankenstein quad. We're gonna fly the Impulse RC Alien Cobra 2204-2300 KV motor, a Schizo 2204-2500 KV motor, Buddy RC 2204-2300 KV, 1806, this is 2500 KV. I changed my mind, I'm going to run the uh, ZMX 2206-2300 KV instead of the 1806 because I don't have two millimeter bolts anymore, so sorry about that. We've got a Little B 30 amp BL Heli ESE, Akon 30 amp BL Heli S ESE, Little B 30 amp BL Heli S ESE, and this is, I don't know what this is, I found it. I don't even know if this stuff works. Let's find out. We're gonna be running four different props on this setup. We've got the new HQ 5x4x4 prop. Haven't flown them yet, but let's try it out. Schizo 5x4x3, why not throw that in the mix? HQ 4x4x4. We've got a four inch four by four by three. We're gonna power this with my flight controller and I'm gonna be using this spectrum antenna. Yeah. I am going to fly the Franken Quad. I've been waiting three months for this moment, okay? So the footage you just saw was three months ago. I am finally testing this thing. So I'm gonna first see if it hovers, and then obviously we're gonna try to rip around this thing. I don't know what to think. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what you guys think is gonna happen. I think it may fly, but it'll probably just have no power. Let's, let's check out, let's try to hover it first. Oh my God, it actually hovered. I don't even know what to do right now because I didn't expect to get this far. So the only thing I can think of is to actually rip this thing around FPV. It was definitely dipping on the four inch tri-blade corner because it's just not producing much thrust on that. It doesn't really have much power at all, but it is stable. So I'm gonna see if I can rip this thing around FPV. actually flew. I felt like I had pretty decent control even though it was trying to yaw to the left the entire flight. I'm assuming that's because that four inch tri-blade on the front left is not doing so hot and it's just wanting to dip in that corner. So I had to always apply right yaw just to go straight and it was bobbling around a little bit but overall it flew. Do I recommend it? Absolutely not but it's impressive to see these flight controllers the technology behind the whole thing that it's able to compensate for all the different thrust values coming from each corner. It's really cool to see this thing even fly around. I wasn't expecting it to fly great or even at all, so this is shocking to me. So hopefully you guys like this. I'm gonna exit this with a flight on one of my actual quads. And please like, subscribe, and comment, and share, and spread the love. And I will see you guys around. Take care. We can build a tree house in the pine trees. We can keep our secrets buried underneath.
your ass.